Okay, in this video, we're going to look at how to divide uh, complex numbers. So these uh, are the examples we are going to work through uh, in a while. But first, uh, we're going to just uh, set up the uh, rules of how to divide uh, complex numbers. So if we have uh, the quotient Z1 over Z2 for both Z1 and Z2 are complex numbers, so to effect the division, we multiply both numerator and denominator by Z2 bar. So that is the complex conjugate of the denominator. Um, so basically this is uh, what we do. The motivation behind this is uh, this result here, which we have established uh, in uh, our video where we were doing multiplication of complex numbers. So uh, the result is when you multiply Z by its complex conjugate, the number that you get is always a real number, uh, which does not involve uh, the imaginary number I. So it's always X squared plus Y squared where x is the real part and y is the imaginary part. So when we do this here, this is going to uh, remove the i um, from the denominator. That is the whole point of this. And then uh, we'll be able to write it uh, in the form a plus ib, where a and b are, are real numbers. All right, so let's, uh, let's uh, see how this works out. So in A, we've got 5 over 1 minus 2i. So um, we are going to uh, start working it out in uh, this second step here. So the question is, uh, what is the complex conjugate of the that denominator there? So the denominator is uh, 1 minus 2i. So the complex conjugate is going to be 1 plus 2i. So we multiplied both numerator and denominator by that 1 plus 2i. Then going forward from there, uh, the rules of multiplying fractions uh, say you multiply the numerators um, and multiply the denominators. But in this case, because we're multiplying uh, a number, with this complex conjugate, we can simply use this result here. So it's going to be x squared plus y squared. Question is, what is x here? And x is 1. Um, and what is y? y is negative 2. So it's going to be negative 2 squared. So um, that's what the denominator is going to be. Um, in case uh, you are doubting this, we can quickly work through this to confirm. So 1 minus 2i into 1 plus 2i. So 1 times 1 is 1 squared. 1 times 2i is plus 2i. Then minus 2i times 1 is minus 2i. Minus 2i times 2i is minus 2i all squared. And then these two are going to cancel out. Uh, so this thing is just going to be 1 minus 2i squared. 2 squared is 4, then i squared. But i squared we know is uh, negative 1. So this is 1 plus 4, which is uh, exactly what we are having right there. Um, so that means uh, our complex number. So this is going to be equal to 5 into 1 plus 2i. 1 squared plus 2 squared is 1 plus 4. So this is going to be 5 into 1 plus 2i over 5. And so the 5 cancels out. So this is just going to work out to 1 plus 2i. Then in B, we have got 1 minus 2i divided by 2i minus 3. Um, so 
This time the denominator is 2i minus 3. So what is going to be the complex conjugate of that? Complex conjugate always obtained by negating the imaginary part. So here we're going to have minus 2i minus 3. Okay. Um, so if we do the same thing here, the denominator, um, well, x is negative 3, y is 2. So it's simply going to be negative 3 squared plus 2 squared. Notice when you do this, it must always give us a positive number uh, if you do this correctly. So then we've got 1 minus 2i times negative of... 2i plus 3. So um, then this is going to be, so you just put the negative here, that's uh, this negative uh, there. We just uh, put it uh, outside the fraction. Then if we multiply this, uh, 1 times 2i is going to be 2i. 1 times 3 is going to be 3. Then negative 2i times 2i is going to be minus 2i squared. The negative 2i times 3 is going to be minus 6i. Uh, in the denominator, we're going to have 9 plus 4. So this is going to be 2i um, plus 3 minus 4i squared minus 6i all over 13. Um, 2i minus 6i is negative 4i. It's going to be plus 3. Minus 4 times negative 1. So, this is going to be 4i plus 7 over 13. If we bring the negative, sorry, there's a negative here. If we bring the negative, then this is going to be 4i minus 7 all over 13. Okay, then in uh, part C, we have got uh, 4 minus i, 4 minus i all over 2 minus i squared. Okay, um, in this case, we're going to have to start by working out, uh, removing the brackets in that denominator. So 2 minus i squared, it's going to be 2 squared, which is 4, minus 2 times 2 times i, mm, plus i squared, or negative i squared, works out exactly the same, i squared and negative i squared. It's going to give us the same thing. So it's going to be 4 minus 4i, Minus 1 with 3 minus 4i. So, 4 minus i over 2 minus i squared is the same as 4 minus i over 3 minus 4i. Then, we're going to multiply both numerator and denominator by the complex conjugate of 3 minus 4i, which is 3 plus 4i. So we're going to multiply both numerator and denominator by that. The denominator is just going to be x squared plus y squared now. Then the numerator, we're going to have uh, 4 times 3 is 12. Uh, 4 times 4i is going to be 16i. Mm, negative i times 3 is going to be minus 3i. Negative i times 4i is going to be minus 4i 
squared the denominator are going to have 3 squared plus 4 squared okay um, so 16i minus 3i going to give us 13i so that is going to be 13i minus 4 times minus 1 3 squared is 9 and uh, plus 16 um, so this is going to be 12 plus 4 so that's going to be 16 plus 13i over 25 and that is going to be our final answer okay um, at this point, we are going to give you an opportunity to have a go at the last two. So if you want to have a go at E and, uh, sorry, D and E, so you can pause the video and then when you continue the video, then you will be in a position to compare with our solution. All right, uh, we're now going to scroll down to our solutions for D and E, um, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for visiting our channel and watching this video. We hope that uh, it is uh, useful to you. Please do not forget to subscribe, of course, to support our channel. And uh, if you've got any questions, uh, would like to be happy to hear, see them, and uh, please post them in the comment section. Uh, do like the video and share accordingly. So for D, uh, the um, denominator is 2 plus 5i. The complex conjugate of that is 2 minus 5i. So if you multiply both numerator and denominator by that, the denominator which is going to have 2 squared plus 5 squared, and the numerator multiply accordingly and simplify, we're going to get 23 minus 14i. The denominator is 29. Uh, for E, again, we need to work out the denominator first. So we do that multiplication here. Find that it's 10 plus 5i. So then the complex conjugate of 10 plus 5i is 10 minus 5i. We multiply both numerator and denominator by that. And um, multiply through and simplify we get 20 minus 35i over 125. So there's a common factor of 5 uh, with all the terms. So we cancel that and we get 4 minus 7i. Thank you.